Hello everyone. So, this is our 15 man World Cup 2002 Championship Manager 0102 Network game. Uh, it was originally going to be 16 players. We had a fella called Ronnie Farrell that was due to take part and his team was going to be Denmark. But unfortunately he couldn't connect. Um, which was a shame he, he made a real genuine effort to get into the game but for some reason he couldn't connect so we got a good turnout for this um, as you can see from the screen here um, yeah 15 of us turned out um, in what was a really successful ses session um, so we started at half seven um, and we ended at half ten so we'd done three hours of play and we managed to get all the group games done um, so we've actually got the second session um, lined up for this coming Thursday at 7.30pm UK where we plan on getting the rest of the tournament finished all the knockout games so I'm just going to give you a recap of how it went um, so yeah you can see here these are the players that took part um, yeah brilliant turnout for it Let's show you how it went down. So this is Group A. So the two human players that took part in this group both qualified. As you can see, France, who were managed by, just having a look now to remind myself, William McGregor and Uruguay were Mark Whitaker. So, yeah, William topped the group and Mark comes second. Um, you can see here the results below. Um, obviously they played each other France come through winning 4-1 quite emphatically um, let's show you how it went so yeah there's France see what tactic they play that's the tactic that um, Williams playing in that game anyhow um there we go. Mark's playing that tactic. Bit of a funky looking tactic. There we go. And obviously the computer played each other. That would have been Ronnie's team. But obviously, as I said, he couldn't take part, unfortunately. Um, then you got Uruguay, France, which was the two human players playing. France beat Denmark he changed his tactic up a little bit there as you can see went for three up top and then to conclude the group was obviously Mark's last game against Senegal playing like that so yeah that was group A let's have a look at group B so this was quite a shock. Um, so you had Alex Gordon who was managing Spain. He was the only human player in this group. And quite surprisingly, after a good start, he finished bottom. Finished bottom of the group. I mean, the group was quite evenly poised. Anyone could have got out of it really. So it went to the last game. But yeah, Alex, he, he lost his last two games, 2-1 two in both of them. And ended up getting eliminated early. So you had the two computer teams playing there. That was Alex's first game. Won that pretty emphatically. That was his setup. Then he lost to Paraguay. Same sort of setup, I believe. Two computer teams again. Then he lost to South Africa to get eliminated. There we go. And that was the last game. So yeah, Alex got eliminated and two of the AI sides went through in Slovenia and South Africa. 
Group C, my group. Now, there's going to be a shock, a crazy shock here that made the lads laugh their heads off. Um, yeah, as you can see, I did top the group, but China come through with me. And you'll see from down here that China got a crazy 1-0 win over me. Shock of the century, I think. China beating Brazil. Uh, just had to happen to me, didn't it? But... <laughs> Um, I'll take you through now, but I did scrape through top of the group. It was quite close because obviously Turkey got six as well, so it could have been anyone. But thankfully, because of my goal difference, I was able to take top spot. And thankfully, that China shot result um, didn't do me too much damage. So, yeah, you had Costa Rica, China. So China actually got off to a really good start there, winning that in the last minute. My first game, pretty emphatic, beating Turkey 4-1, totally dominant from the stats, getting a goal in the first minute, that's how I lined up, that was my tactic, how I set the team up, <coughs> obviously you can't view player instructions, um, but each manager will tweak their own, um, and then the China loss, <laughs> Keeper had a weldy to be fair. Most of their defence did as well. Um, as you can see, I dominated the game. It was a bit of a champ man result. The ones where you dominate and then end up losing. <laughs> but look, they beat me. Um, and they had a sending off as well. I had to remind myself there, they actually had a man sent off as well. So yeah, 1 0 uh, loss there. That was my setup again. Went with the same setup. <coughs> yeah, so a shock loss there and put me under a bit of pressure. And you had Turkey beating Costa Rica there, 3 1. And then I smashed Costa Rica myself, 6 1. Got some revenge. I think I took out that frustration of losing to China on Costa Rica there. I had a lot of shots, as you can see, a lot of passes completed. Um, absolutely dominated that game. And then Turkey beat China, even though China went through. So yeah, scrape through, top of the group, pleased with that, even though I lost uh, to China. So yeah, Group C. Group D, you had two more human players here. Uh, so you had Stuart Denton with Portugal. Um, and you had Adnan Kusic with Poland. Um, so Stuart Denton and Adnan Kusic um, so it's a tight group as you can see Portugal just shaded it by a point to top it they started off really well with a 5-1 victory nice little set up there <coughs> Adnan taking his Poland to a nice victory there 3-0 nice looking tactic and then the game between the two human players Portugal won it 3-2 but what a game eh close very close and it was won in the 87th minute as well so that was Stuart set up with Portugal that was Adnan set up with Poland And the two AI teams battling it out, obviously. Then you have Portugal 1 all with South Korea. Game of many chances, that one. <coughs> and then to conclude it, Adnan gets a nice 2 1 victory over USA. It was going to be riding on that game. He gets a 2 1 win there. Lovely to take him through to the next round. And with a sending off as well. Fair play. So that's group D. So the only human player that's been eliminated at the minute is Alex. All the rest of us have made it through as you can see. The, obviously the human players are the ones in yellow. So Alex the only one eliminated at the minute. Group E. Now 
Here you can see Germany was managed by Carl Rhodes and of course he put himself through the ringer here with some of these results. Look, every game he played was 3-2. <laughs> every single game. Um, crazy, crazy there. He's managed to get through in second. Fair play, but he made hard work of it, that's for sure. Uh, so you had Cameroon and Ireland, the two AI teams starting off there. Then obviously Cole's first game against the Saudi Arabians. Close game, as you can see. Carsten Yanka coming to the rescue. That was his setup. That was his team instructions. Very close game that one. And the AI teams again. And then, yep, Ireland actually beat him 3 2. In another quality game, which put him under pressure there. Looks like he went for the same tactic in this one. And obviously beat Cameroon 3 2. Another close, close game though. So he was really through the wing, uh, the ringer there, Cole. But managed to get through. Ireland concluding the group there. So that's Group E. So yeah, Cole went through. And then Group F. This one was a cracker, this one. Four human players. Um, so you had Matty Hughes with Argentina. You had Chris Thomas with England. Uh, Mikey Chambers with Sweden, who was hosting the game. And then Rodney T with Nigeria. So that was a cracker of a group, because four human players, so two of them had to go home. Um, unfortunately for Mike and Rodney, they were the two that went home. And Matty and Chris advance to the round of 16. So let's have a look. England, Sweden to start us off. Chris versus Mikey. Chris is set up. Mikey set up. Then you add Rodney versus Matty. I mean, fair play, Rodney went for it. Played attacking. A nice little 4 3 3 there from Matty. Then you had Mikey versus Rodney. Tough game, that one. Mikey getting the victory to keep his hopes alive. By that point, Rodney was already out with two losses and you had the grudge match Argentina v England Matty versus Chris which meant that it would go to the last game to see who would qualify out of England and Sweden So here it was, just, yep, Sweden obviously lost to the RGs, so Mikey lost to Matty, which meant he was relying on the England game. So that was Mikey's way of playing. And then Matty not changing much up really. So I think Mikey needed England to lose. He needed Chris to lose, but they won emphatically. Even though the stats showed it was quite close, to be fair. So Chris carried on playing how he'd played throughout the tournament. And Rodney sadly ended up with no points. And that, was con that concluded the group there. So the last two groups, a group with three human players in. So you had um, Italy, you had Michael Godfrey. Mexico was Chris Henson. And Croatia was Paolo Aseno. Um, so Paolo headed out in third, got two draws, uh, managed to muster two draws, but unfortunately for him, 
got eliminated. So it was Michael who topped the group with Italy and then Chris with Mexico making it through. So here you can see the way Michael's setting up there with the Italians who have got to be a, one of the big favourites for this tournament alongside a few others I must admit what a cracker that was, look at that, 3-3 free free between Chris and Paolo cracking game other human players playing again in Croatia and Italy very tight look at that he went to defend for it but unfortunately Italy got an early goal and it made it difficult he would then have to come out and get the equaliser but it did show in the way he set up because I only had three on on uh, three shots on goal none on target so um, in Italy, Mexico. Pretty straightforward there for Italy. And then another cracking free all there, even though it was the AI. Uh, but it wasn't enough for Croatia to get through, unfortunately, for Paolo. Um, keeper had a shocker, didn't he? For yeah, they equalised on the 88th minute. What heartbreak! I think they might have had a good chance of getting through then, otherwise. There we go. Yep, so that was that group, and then we got the last group, which there was only one human manager taking part and that was Belgium Wayne Chester um, and he topped the group he managed to top the group with his Belgian team um, so yeah pretty straightforward for him so you have Russia Tunisia which was the two AI teams then Wayne started off with a nil nil draw very drab that not many chances um, wouldn't be Harry wanted to start the tournament I'm guess I'm guessing so that got him off to a pretty tough foot in there then he beat Tunisia just scraped it and two AI teams again Two AI teams, and then a one-nil win to conclude the group for Wayne. Deserved as well, judging by the amount of shots he had. There we go. So that was everything we got done in that three-hour session. We got all the group games done. Um, as I said, 15 of us turned up, which was a fantastic turnout. Could have been 16 because. Ronnie with his Denmark team um, yeah he turned up but he just couldn't get on so we nearly had the full house um, but unfortunately for Ronnie he couldn't get on um, let's see where Denmark come actually so, yeah they come bottom of their group so that's who he would have been managing Ronnie um, let's just go through the uh, what squads they've got so this is France that's the squad that William called up these there um, Mark Whitaker. this was a squad he called up um, this was Alex Golden's squad his Spain team <laughs> then myself obviously managing the mighty Brazil Stuart Denton and then 
and then here with his poles which he's guided through fair play to him for that coal roads with Germany <coughs> Then the four human players here, so Matty Hughes is Argentina. Chris Thomas is England. A few shop names in there, Jody Craddock. Lee Bowyer, cool. Ehiog. That's Chris Thomas. Obviously Mikey, that was his Swedish team. Then you have Rodney T with his Nigerians. Michael Godfrey with Italy, look at that, stacked with some stars in there. Chris Henson with Mexico. Blanco, eh? What a player. He's a player in. It's Chris Henson with Mexico. And then Paolo Aseno with his Croatian team. Then last but not least. Wayne Chester with Belgium so let's get to the exciting bit now so as I said Thursday this Thursday 7.30 p.m. UK time we're hoping to conclude the rest of the tournament and this is what we've got in store for you that's the second round so you've got William McGregor's France taking on an AI controlled South Africa. You've got Stuart Danton taking on my conquerors, China, a team that should be nowhere near the second round but have found themselves through. So that'll be an interesting one. Then you've got a grudge match in an AI controlled Ireland versus Chris Thomas's England. Then you've got a human match here. Um, Battle of the managers, you've got uh, Wayne Chester's Belgi Belgium against Chris Henson's Mexico so that'll be a real um, real tasty one that one then you've got AI controlled Slovenia versus Mark Whitaker's Uruguay obviously my Brazil versus Adnan's Poland that'll be an interesting one and then you've got Matty Hughes is Argentina versus Cole Roads Germany a real heavyweight clash that one are pretty much definitely not even arguably definitely the title around that one because a big boy is going home and then you've got Michael Godfrey's Italy against AI control Russia so very very interesting um, so yeah we look forward to getting this played out and hopefully played out to a finish on Thursday night um, so yeah hope you enjoyed the recap video uh, hope to see you for the recap of the knockouts. Thank you.